Hello, I'm Matt Martin from Applied CAX in Portland, Oregon. I'm going to show some fill surface capability in NX. Here is the fill surface dialog. I can select multiple edges and then change its continuity. I can change the method to fullness, none, fit to curves, fit to facet body. You can patch it into a part. And you can change the default continuity, which is what it shows up up here first. So on the home tab, fill surface. Uh, it's pretty simple to, to patch a part and got to repair surfaces with it. I'm going to have a G1 tangent condition placed around this hole. And I had single curve picked, so I'll switch this to tangent curves. And I get a, a nice little patch put in there, but I can see a little, maybe a little warp in there. Go ahead and delete this out. Use the curve tool. I'll throw a bridge curve across that opening there. Back to fill surface, tangent curves. This time I'm going to have it fit to curves and pick that curve there. Make sure that it's forced to go through that curve. And it makes a nice surface. This is just a a sheet body shell of a part. I want to try and turn this into a solid part. I'm going to use fill surface again, picking the edge geometry first. Have it patched to the part. I don't need to have it fit to curve and G1 is a bit high. I'm going to go ahead and select all those and switch it to G0 and apply it to the part change my default edge continuity to G0 and begin patching this into the part. There's two and I actually want to grab the edges and not the curves here. Make sure I grab that correctly. There we go. And the last one. See if it's a solid, and it is. As soon as it's made watertight, it becomes a solid, and I have my part rebuilt. A little bit more complex surface here. If I use my fill surface, G2 curvature, pick the edge curve, and I've got, a, got it filled in. It's a nice surface. If I want to throw an edge blend across this part, I've got a big notch in here. I want to get rid of that notch. So I'm going to use my curve tool and just create a line across here. And then fill surface. I'm going to be cognizant of my selection intent. And go to at least G1. Put a face blend on here. Flip that arrow inside. Ah, when I created the fill surface, I picked the, the line first. Let's repick that. Fill surface, patched apart, became unchecked. I want this to be G1 tangent. Then pick a single curve. Now it's going to be patched to the part. Go back to my face blend. Flip the arrow over. And throw a nice face blend in there. And lastly, where I would normally do a through curve mesh, I can drive fill surface through a part. I'm going to go ahead and grab this edge here and have it maintain a G2 continuity out here on the end. Grab the edges all the way around. Now 
So it's created a fill surface, but it's pretty much flat in there. Go ahead and fit to curves. Have it fit to this curve. And as well, I'm going to have it fit to the cross curves to control that surface as tightly as I can. Unlike through curve mesh, where it re requires the splines to intersect one another, if I were to edit this spline and drag this surface down, I'll get a very unusual result or a failure. Pull this up a little bit more. So it created it, but it's created within tolerances it was able to create the surface anyway. So the, the curves do not have to be intersecting one another, though it's probably a good idea that they do. Thanks for watching Phil Surface.